because this is cocoa butter, I kind of have to work a little fast because it does start to set up and get hard. So for today's video, we are going to be making donut bath bombs using the bath bomb presses donut mold. And this is a three piece mold. One piece is the ring, the other piece is the top that you screw to the top of the pistoning piece, the pressing piece, and the bottom piece is this piece right here. So it comes together like a lot of their uh, molds, but this one does not have a ring in the middle, so I think it just doesn't really matter which way you put it, whereas with the round, medium round bath bombs, there's a ring on the inside of this piece that lets you know which side is the top and the bottom and whatnot. But in this mold, there doesn't seem to be anything like that. So it looks like it's gonna work either way. This donut bath bomb is gonna be the last piece of my birthday bundle, which my birthday was weeks ago, but I'm still planning on releasing that bundle in a couple of weeks. And this donut bath bomb is gonna be scented in bursts of sunshine from the Brambleberry Bohemian Blooms collection, which I think is winding down. There might be a few days left on that or it could be expired already, I don't know. And for the look of this donut bath bomb, I'm envisioning that Simpsons donut, and if you are a fan of the Simpsons, you know what look I'm talking about. It's that neon yellow donut that's covered in that vibrant pink icing topped with some sprinkles. So if that is something that you would like to see, keep watching. And for those of you curious, even though this is a soap and bath bomb channel, I have never made donut bath bombs before. So very much like my shower steamer video, this could either be a video of great success or a great failure. Stick around to the end to see what happens. <laughs> and by the way, guys, thank you so much for the feedback on that video. Your comments are so amazing. And this is why this community, I love it so much because not only have I helped you guys out, but you guys continue to contribute and help me and my business out in so many ways. I can already see looking back on that video how my mix was way too dry. I might need a moon cake press type thing in order to mold them together. There's just a lot of things that I can improve on. So thank you guys for all of your amazing suggestions. I will definitely do a part two where I try to redeem myself and make some really good shower steamers because the ones that I made, even though they held together really well at first, they eventually cracked and flattened. And I will show you guys right over here what they look like. <laughs> They're still usable by me. I would never sell them, but I'm going to keep at it because it's a great product to add to your line and so many of you guys have such great suggestions so thanks again for that <laughs> so the first step is i've measured out my baking soda and now i'm going to add the color to the entire batch it's going to be a solid bright yellow donut so i'm only going to be really using yellow as the main color i get all of my bath bomb dyes from this very dot ca and what i'm doing here is i'm mixing the dye up in some water to dilute it or to bloom it I will add that to my baking soda to prime it. I don't know what the exact, there must be a term out there that's more official, but my term is priming it. And then once that's going, I'm gonna have that mixing in my mixer for at the lowest setting possible on the kitchen aid stand mixer. And then I will add all of my dry ingredients to my baking soda. Then I'll add my wet ingredients and then I'll add my citric acid. You guys know the drill, you guys know. <laughs> so I need to correct myself. It's not Burst of Sunshine, it's actually called Ray of Sunshine. And it's very citrusy type smell, like very, very citrus, but with a lot of sweetness in there with some floral. That's hard to describe, but the combination of all of this together is perfection. It smells so good. I know that the Cheeky Goat Soapery made a really great soap with this guy, and she made a gorgeous, gorgeous soap with this. All of her stuff is so good, by the way. Shout out to you. So this is the color that I've got going so far. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty yellow, just the way I want it. And now I'm gonna add my wet ingredients to this guy, measure out my citric, and then combine everything together. So I have everything mixed up. Here's my batch right here. And I was thinking to have embeds in it, but I'm a little hesitant because I don't know if these guys will float. I know that the round guys float, but if it if a donut bath bomb just sinks, it's kind of useless to have it have secret colors on the inside of it. So I'm not sure. So for this first batch, which 
I'll probably demo tomorrow if everything goes well and I'm actually able to make bath bombs with uh, the bath bomb press of this mold, then I'll see tomorrow what it looks like when it's in the water. And the shape of it might cause it to sink or it might not, I don't know, but I guess I'm, I've already convinced myself I'm going to use embeds in this, in this bath bomb, just in case it does float, we'll see. So that being said, I have my two embed colors over here and let's get to molding because I'm super curious about how this is gonna work out. If it does, I'm a little nervous that it's not gonna work out because the last time I tried something new, it did not work out, but that is also my fault. Oh, let's get the lighting right. It's a little too bright. Okay, so I'm going to fill up this mold now. I'm gonna half fill it. I'm gonna choose to put my embed colors on opposite sides. I don't know, this is all so neat me, guys. I'm gonna do pink and then blue on the other side. And we'll see how that turns out. That's the funnest part about, about this job is the experimentation aspect of it. So I have it filled up to the top here. Now I'm just going to press it. Uh, fingers crossed, everything is going to go as it is expected. We'll see. So it formed a donut. <laughs> now the tricky part is removing the donut. This is always so tricky to me. Do I just go upside down? This is always a struggle. I know that with my cloud bath bombs, it was super awkward. Someone in the comments told me a really great technique and that's now improved, but we'll see how this goes. I'm unmolding it now into my hand. Oh my gosh, it's a donut. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, okay, I have to move it to my tray now before it falls apart. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. It is pretty solid, guys. It was not falling apart in my hands. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do a second donut. And I have to say, Ray of Sunshine as the scent for this bath bomb is amazing. <laughs> It smells so good. Super curious now about these guys floating in the water. And I'm also curious about them drying because for the round bath bombs, they got those trays, right? The round bottom trays. And these guys are round and I don't know how they're going to, well, they're round-ish at the bottom. And I have no idea how they're actually going to dry. A little nervous about that. We will see. Got my embeds in. Now to fill up the rest. One thing I will say about the donuts made using this mold, they are quite large. <laughs> they are quite big. So if you're gonna sell these, you probably want to charge more than what you charge for your round bath bombs. Change the angle here so that you can see what I'm doing. Hey guys, I'm back because I had a um, a little bit of a struggle and I want to explain something about this particular mold that I think would be helpful if you are going to be making bath bombs with it in the future. I did my second bath bomb and I was thinking to myself why isn't it coming out the same as the other one and I realized that this hole was clogged full of bath bomb dust and that was actually compromising its ability to press down fully and that's why the first one turned out so good, but my second one was not great. So I remembered watching Ariane Arsenault making donut bath bombs using this mold. And she, I remember her talking about how she poked a hole in the middle when she molded her bath bombs. And I was like, oh, okay. So generally the idea is you want to be able to have that middle piece of the donut penetrate into your bath bomb. And that is what I was doing wrong back there. So that is just a tip if you're going to make donut bath bombs to keep them consistent. So I'm just going to continue filling up to the top. I'm gonna to press down slightly and then keep going. And then I'm gonna smooth over the top. And then I'm going to get a tool. Adienne uses her finger, I think, but I'm going to use this guy to make a really sizable hole in the middle. And I'm gonna press that and that goes right through and you're able to make the hole in the donut. Now, when it comes to unmolding, I feel like having them just go upside down like this 
and then lifting the bottom mold. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. Lifting the bottom mold is safest. And that way you have your bath bomb dispense on your tray without moving it around too much. So hopefully that helped you guys because I was struggling for a bit there. <laughs> Everything's good now. So here are the pressed donuts. I still have a little bit of mix in there left and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a second. But yeah, these turned out really good. I did notice even though I was poking a hole in the middle that I had to detach the top part of the mold and really unplug the hole that was there in order to get very smooth donuts. But on the whole, <laughs> pun intended, this bath bomb is quite easy to make and looks like, judging from the very first one, they are holding up really well. Now time will tell, we'll see if they start cracking. I hope not, but I will update you guys on that tomorrow. So as for the rest of the bath bomb dust that I can't make a donut bomb with, I like to do this with my regular bath bombs too. I just like to press them into heart bath bombs. And this mold is great for putting all my excess stuff into here. And I either give them away or sell them at market. And people love these little heart shaped bath bombs. They're so cute. They're smaller than the round bath bombs, but they are still adorable bath bombs that people love and do buy. So that's what I suggest. I don't like to waste anything. And I used to sell bath bomb dust in jars, but I think I'm gonna stop doing that. I think I would rather just press them into bath bombs and sell them as bath bombs. So there's the little heart bath bomb that I made. How cute is that? Super adorable. And this will get the same treatment as the other bath bombs will get. It will be dunked in some very bright pink frosting. And I do plan on making that frosting out of cocoa butter and a few other ingredients. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to double check, but that's all gonna be done tomorrow. I'm gonna let these guys dry. It's getting to be quite hot here in Southern Ontario and the humidity is creeping up and up. So I'm gonna get these guys out of the humidity and in a place where they can dry off nicely. I don't see any cracks yet, which is good. And they seem to be holding up really well. I'm nervous, guys, fingers crossed. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day and here are how the donuts turned out. So they turned out so cute. They look like actual donuts because of the color that I chose to dye the bath bomb mix in. And they smell amazing. They smell so good. I'm just completely in love. And now the next step to finish these guys off is to make the glaze that'll go on top and to sprinkle it with some candy sprinkles. And it will actually look pretty edible, so I will have to <laughs> make that warning label do not eat quite big on these guys, I think. <laughs> and I do want to say that I was worried about these guys cracking or um, letting gravity pull them down and, and their shape not staying this donut shape. And they stayed pretty true to what I pressed originally, but I will say that the bottoms did flatten out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it still looks like an amazing donut still looks perfect and I'm so glad about that. So I will just get that icing going right now. <laughs> so for this icing, it's going to be basically cocoa butter that's been melted down, mixed with some baking soda and some mica to make it that gorgeous pink color that I'm wanting. And I've seen a lot of examples of donut bath bombs with drizzle on top, but I think I wanna go for that classic Simpsons pink donut look and have it dipped right in so that it's just a, a nice even coating of frosting on top. So in order to do that, I'm going to melt down my cocoa butter in this glass bowl. I'm gonna put it into a water bath so that it melts down over time. And then I'm going to add some baking soda periodically in, in I'm not even sure what amounts I'm gonna be doing it at. I'm just going to feel how thick it is. This is all a discovery process. This is the very first time I'm doing this, so I'm taking you guys with me. So the next time you see me, I'll have my cocoa butter all melted and I will be moving on to the next step. So I have my cocoa butter that's completely melted. I've added a tablespoon of baking soda, so we'll see how that goes. If I want it to be thicker, I will probably add another tablespoon of baking soda. Right now it seems really thin, so let's add another tablespoon. Let's get it a little bit thicker. <laughs> 
So this is the icing so far. I need a lot more baking soda in my cocoa butter to make it somewhat thick. And I am going to keep stirring it to get the clumps of baking soda out. And to get this pink color, I used a pink mica. So hopefully it will start to thicken up a little bit and I can start dipping my donuts. I've already done a few practice dips with the heart and it was a little too thin. So if this is the first time for you, I would recommend having a dummy bath bomb nearby that you can practice the dipping <laughs> with. So I've already done a few practice donuts. I'm going to keep going. So I will take the donut and flip it upside down so that I'm not glazing the flat side. I'm gonna dip it into here. I'm gonna go again, do a double dip to get a nice coating and look how cute that looks. And while it's still wet, I'm going to dust it with some sprinkles. And oh, wow, look how edible that looks. Now we're gonna go again with another donut. We're gonna go again, we're gonna go two times. Oh my goodness, this looks so cute. And then we're going to sprinkle it for it dries on me. And we're gonna keep and we're gonna keep going. How delicious does it look here? <laughs> they really do look edible. You need to make that sticker saying do not consume. Oh my gosh, yeah. Very big. I really do. Because these truly do look like edible donuts. Yeah. Even that drip coming down makes oh it look gosh. so real. It really does, yeah. Like that glaze. It literally looks like a glaze. Wow. Oh. Because this is cocoa butter, I kind of have to work a little fast because it does start to set up and get hard. So, so make sure you have just enough. To glaze your donut. Yeah, it hardens like right away, right when you pull it out, huh? Yeah, it makes that contact with the air. Go. That looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Let me just. Maybe mix this a little bit to get that glaze, the rest of the glaze going. We only have three donuts left. Hopefully it's enough. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna have to melt some more cocoa butter for this. Yeah, I might have to melt just a little bit more. That turned out okay. I like that the sprinkles are just on one side. Yep, me too. Put a little asymmetry in there. Perfect. Wow! Look how cute these look! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with how they turned out. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think I captured the Simpsons donut? perfectly. I know that the Simpsons donut is sprinkles all over the place, but I think when it comes to sprinkling your bath bombs using candy sprinkles, you don't want to use too much. I use literally a pinch. And I think when it's off to the side like this, it still looks pretty cool. It smells amazing. Wow. And I promised you guys a demo of how these guys um, perform in the water. And right now I'm going to tell you, I don't think they're going to float because not only are they heavy, but the cocoa butter um, drizzle on top also adds to the weight of this bath bomb. So if it does float, that's gonna be pretty incredible. We'll see. You might be able to see the 
the secret colors if you hold the bath bomb up while it's floating. But I will show you all that right now. Let's do this. <laughs> So the bath bomb is still going, but what I predicted would happen did happen. It actually sank for the first part of its bath bomb fizzing journey and Kale had to hold it for a bit while I took some video to show you guys how it was fizzing. And after a while though, it did actually start to float, which is good. And it is floating now. It's kind of bright, but it is floating now, which is nice. And remember there's that layer of cocoa butter that's sitting on top, so that's gonna add such a nice luxurious feel to the bath. And one thing I will say about coloring a donut bath bomb yellow is you will get definitely some yellow bath water. And I don't know if that's a deterrent or makes you guys feel some kind of way about it. <laughs> but that's something to consider if you're going to have a yellow bath bomb. I did incorporate some pink and blue so that you have a little bit of different variety and color so the bath isn't just pure yellow, but we did have some of the embed color shooting out for a little bit at some point in this journey, but as it is right now, it is just the cocoa butter shell, which if you're in a really hot bathtub, it's gonna continue to melt and add a really nice conditioning aspect to the water because there's this really luxurious cocoa butter in it. And as you can see, it's starting to melt away really nicely. So yeah, that is how a donut bath bomb performs. Kind of a sinker, but kind of not at the same time. So that is it. I really hope you like this kind of video. If you want to get your hands on this donut bath bomb, it will be up on our site in a couple of days. And we are actually also including this bath bomb with my birthday box, which I will be launching also in a couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. 
And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I really hope everyone has an amazing weekend. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful things like donut bath bombs. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.